for the benefit of the technical, uh, the audio archive, technical difficulties are uh, shortening the uh, length of this recording. We have one and a half minutes gone in the second half. Canada, in a game they must win to keep their hopes alive of winning this tournament, are trailing by three goals to one. Russia on the left in blue with Leontieva with the ball right now. Sends the ball down towards Cassie Orgeles for Canada. I'll go through the lineups in a second. Cassie Orgeles sends the ball back down the line towards Leontieva. She's joined by Shevchenko in the centre and Kocharova on the left-hand side, who has the ball right now, the number one. She's going to send the ball down towards uh, Amy Kneebone in the centre for Canada. It's over the top of Nancy Moran on the right. It's into the back of the net and Russia have arrived on the international scene. They're leading by four goals to one against Canada, who won the Turkey tournament, beating Russia in controversial circumstances in the semi-final on the way. A very informed Canadian ladies team is being systematically picked apart by this Russian ladies team. It's four goals to one to Russia. This is the second round of the final four. Russia beat the USA last night by one goal to nothing. Denmark and Canada drew three goals apiece. And if my reckoning is correct, if this stays the same, Canada cannot win the tournament that they took last year. And Russia can only be bested by Denmark. Nine minutes and 12 seconds in the second half left for Canada to do something about this. They were defeated by, Canada, by Russia in the final pool play game yesterday when Russia fielded two of their youngsters. They lost by a goal to nothing. Nancy Mora has the ball on the right-hand side. She comes striding down to the left. Cassie Orgeles moves out of the way. Moran sends the ball into the midriff of Leontieva. Down the line. Lantieva, the right-handed uh, right winger, sends the ball back down towards Cassie Orgeles. Orgeles blocks the ball on that left-hand post. Canada will have another game today. They'll take on the USA in their final round-robin game. USA will play Denmark after this game. And if Denmark can beat the USA, Denmark versus Russia becomes literally a gold medal game. Ball comes off the legs of Shevchenko. That is, unless Canada can do something about this score in the next eight minutes and ten seconds. Kocharova looking to make it worse for the Canadians. Nebo kicks the ball away. The ball is in the hands of Leontieva. The blue shirt in number five. On the right hand side, sends the ball down the line where it's pushed away by Orgeles. Cassie Orgeles, the number two, on the left wing, left-handed, sends the ball into the toes of Shevchenko. Can't get it through that iron curtain defense. Kocharova on the left-hand side, sends the ball towards the right of Amy Nebo. She blocks the ball in the two spot and moves all the way along towards Cassie Orgeles, pushing her out of the way as she does. And right-handed will send the ball into the center. Shevchenko might have found a chink of light there if she'd have sent it back quickly, but she decides not to. Leontieva on the right-hand side, sends the ball across the court. It's out of play next to Moran on that right-hand side. 7.22 left. Nancy Moran on the right. Finds the legs of Shevchenko, but the ball is kept in front of Leontieva by the kick from the center. Kocharova comes down to that right-hand side, and right-handed sends the ball across the face of Nibon. Nibon's up quickly and will deliver back towards Kocharova, but Shevchenko's in the way and pushes the ball out of play in the fourth spot. Five minutes gone in this second half. Russia, who were leading by two goals to one at halftime, have scored two more goals in the second half without reply, and they're leading by four goals to one which means they will have won two out of their three final four games with one more to play. Canada will have drawn one and lost one if this stays the same. And Denmark and the USA will play next. Nancy Moran sends the ball into Shevchenko's toes. Leontieva blocks the ball and Kocharova will deliver from the left-hand side. I've just asked Davo, uh, our producer on court side, that the uh, first tie break between the two sides in this final four, it will be the uh, game play between them. Is that right, Davo? We'll wait for his reply and just make sure. Timeout is called by Russia. 6.18 left to play. 
they're leading by four goals to one. Debo has confirmed what I thought. This result effectively will end the USA's hopes of gold. They lost against Russia yesterday, and even if they beat Denmark and Canada, cannot overtake the Russians. Denmark drew with Canada, and therefore can overtake Russia on points if they beat the USA and Russia. Top. We're back underway. The ball comes down towards Amy Nebo and in the uh, four spot. The red-shirted number seven takes a deep breath, sends the ball across the court into the uh, two spot, angling away from Shevchenko. Shevchenko finds her own block and sends the ball back down towards Nebo. Nebo traps the ball and the ball is handed to Nancy Moran. Loose exchange, but Moran does grab the ball now. We're over the halfway mark in this second half. Ball comes across the court. Shevchenko kicks the ball away and has the ball once more. It's actually Kocharova has come across to that right-hand side to deliver. Amy Nebo pushes the ball and keeps it in front of her. And she'll send the ball back, bouncing towards the toes of Shevchenko and Leontieva. But it can't go through the gap. Leontieva holds the ball and sends the ball into Amy Nebo, who traps it easily in the center, moves the ball to Moran. Five and a half minutes to go. Nancy Moran. On the right hand side, sends the ball into the knee pads of Shevchenko in the center. Shevchenko dives for the ball near the high ball line and moves the ball back to Leontieva, who sends the ball into the center for Canada, Amy Nebo. Nebo sends the ball across the court. Kocharova blocks the ball out on the left hand side, collects her own block, and bounces the ball back quickly towards Shevchenko, uh, towards uh, Nebo on that uh, right of center, the two spot. Nancy Moran is standing in the two spot right now, runs forward, puts everything she's got into the ball across Shevchenko. Shevchenko swats it away and Leontieva returns it towards Kneebone. Nebo moves the ball to Cassie Orgales. Canada need goals and need goals now. They're trailing by four goals to one with four minutes and 45 seconds left of this game. Kocharova on the left hand side, sends the ball down towards uh, Nancy Moran. Moran blocks the ball. And on the right-hand side, sends the ball crashing into Shevchenko's arms in the four spot. Can't get the ricochet that she did to equalize when they were a goal down. But the ricochet comes off of uh, Amy Nebo and off of Moran and off of the post and out. Almost another goal from Kocharova. Canada survived that time by virtue of the post. But they're trailing by four goals to one. Culture over once more on the left hand side. Finds that post. Will deliver left handed, bouncing towards Amy Kneebone. Kneebone holds onto the ball. This is the first time that uh, Canada have faced Culture over in the tournament. She didn't play in the pool game, neither did Leontieva. Or maybe she made a come on in the end, I'm not too sure. Leontieva from the right hand side sends the ball down towards Orgales. Cassie Orgales moves the ball across to Nancy Moran. The oldest member of this Russian team is 22 years old. The majority of them are in their late teens. One of them's only 15 years old. They have a goal ball future that is looking very rosy indeed. They're leading by four goals to one with three minutes and 12 seconds left on the clock. Kocharova trying to make it worse. Nancy Moran traps the ball. And Moran on that right hand side sends the ball down the line where Shevchenko collects. Shevchenko moves the ball to Kocharova on the left. Kocharova holds the ball high and sends the ball across the face of Nebo. When they met in that pool game, Canada lost by a goal to nothing. Now they're meeting in the final four and they're staring defeat in the face once more. Leontieva on the right-hand side sends the ball in towards Amy Nebo. Nebo sends the ball across the court where Kocharova blocks. Kocharova, who's done most of the scoring, if not all of the scoring, sends the ball, bounces in towards Nebo. Nebo sends the ball to Moran on the right-hand side. I say if not all, because with technical difficulties, we missed one of the Russian goals. Ball is kicked off of the legs of Shevchenko. Two minutes and 16 seconds remain. 
As Davol, my producer, is pointing out, Russia is the only team in this tournament that is undefeated throughout. Time out to Canada. Two minutes and eight seconds remain. It's a Canadian mountain to climb, as big as the Russian Ural. They're trailing by four goals to one. When anybody has mentioned what happened in Turkey to the Russians during an interview, they've always been very polite, they've always said the right words, but you can just hear in the back of their words the hidden thoughts of uh, revenge. They were not happy with that goal was disallowed with 16 seconds to go. It was nothing that Canada could do about it. Canada were leading by a goal to nil and won the game. The officials, you could argue, were responsible for the call rather than the team, which is fair enough. I think that's quite correct. But Russia have to go through the European Championship qualifying, where there's only one place available. The winner of the European Championships in October will join Canada in the, uh, in the Paralympic Games. Russia will have to win the European Championships. Canada are already there. But right now, Russia have one hand on the Malmo Lady Intercup. There's 90 seconds to go. They're leading by four goals to one. It will put them in an almost unassailable position. Out of the final four, only Denmark can overtake Russia if this stays the same. The Antieva on the right-hand side, right-handed, sends the ball across the face of goal. It goes past Kneebone, but into the legs of Moran. 65 seconds left. Moran on the right-hand side. Sends the ball down the line, where it's trapped by Shevchenko. Kocharova on the left-hand side, right-handed. Sends the ball across the court to Nancy Moran. Moran across the court is trapped by uh, Shevchenko. Shevchenko moves the ball to Leontieva. 39 seconds to go. As Davor is pointing out, of course, they don't have to win the European tournament, uh, Russia, if they only have to finish the best of the teams already not qualified. For example, Sweden, if they were to win the European Championships, or Finland, the next best team that haven't qualified, would go to London with them. 15 seconds remain here, though. No way back for the Canadians. They trailed by 2-1 at half-time. Two unanswered goals in the second half. And Canada have been thoroughly defeated by this very, very good Russian side. The ball is in the hands of Nancy Moran as the whistle blows. The game is called. And Russia are one step closer to winning this title. They've beaten all comers so far. They beat Canada by four goals to one. Just